Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my Louis Vuitton agenda in the large ring aka the GM and give you my thoughts and review so far. So yeah, this is it. This is the largest size agenda cover that they have. It does not include the inserts and it does retail at $840 USD um, currently. I know that they raise the prices um, at least once a year, so it does go up. Um, this was actually really difficult to get, to be honest. Um, it was the only one in the store, it wasn't available online, and even on the pre-loved market right now, you're paying a lot just because they're so hard to come across right now. So I originally had the Louis Vuitton PM agenda, and I ended up selling it on Poshmark. I did buy it pre-loved and I sold it for a little bit more than I had paid for it, so I did make a little bit of a profit. But that's the great thing about Louis Vuitton is that the resale value is usually pretty good. But anyways, let's dive into my thoughts on this agenda. So I did decide to get the larger one just because I wasn't working from the office anymore. And being from home, being at home, I am able to use my desk more, not have to travel with this. So I figured I might as well be able to take advantage of having more space. Okay, so let's do a little tour and give you my thoughts of this. So right off the bat, keep in mind, this is brand new, out of the box, straight from the store, and already only a few weeks old, and I have babied this like crazy, and you can already see from the hardware that it is completely worn in one of the sections. Now on the bottom, you can see that like the side glazing is kind of peeling up and just like some things that just don't look perfect for the price and for $840 for an agenda cover I just expected kind of better quality than I got but it has this little snap closure and you open it up and yeah inside you have the six rings this is the A5 size you have like this little pocket in front and then these two flaps um, what you can put things in. I have some checks over on the side. Um, I have these inserts that I got from Carpe Diem. I bought these on Amazon and I use these number systems just for my workout days. All the inserts that I have in here I got from Amazon and each set was under $10. So I like the set on this side. You have your little to-do list, your goals, birth dates, important reminders, things like that. And then you have the month at a glance so yeah I also added in the grid inserts they are a different color um, they're not as white but I love the way that it kind of looks against the gold and then I also have some lined paper for notes okay and then I have these inserts which also came with the set from Amazon um, I just put some stamps in here and um, some little post-it things and it has a little ruler with it as well and then in the back um, I had these inserts from when I had the PM agenda and I got these from Etsy um, and they were really cute so I thought that I would just hold on to them super cute and this little kind of Tiffany's looking one super cute there and it has the pocket in the back as well and then another section um, to kind of put things inside there, and it has a little pen holder as well. As you can see, again, with this not being too old, a couple weeks old now, and it's already getting like indents from the rings, which you do expect to have that kind of wear and tear. And then, as you can see from the metal, that it is starting to get scratched up just from the paper kind of being like slid around it. And then we have the back which actually looks in pretty good shape right now so overall I have to say I am happy to have this size planner I am kind of disappointed in how it's holding up already especially since it doesn't really leave my desk at all and you know I keep it in a, the same position for the most part it doesn't really move a ton just opening it and closing it so the fact that it does kind of have some imperfections now is a little frustrating that like the quality like on the button isn't really holding up 
for the cost of it. I feel like I've had planners that I've paid $30 for that have been able to take more of a beating than this. Um, but in terms of like the actual size and for the use that I can get for being able to refill it with inserts and to have like this size to be able to work with and write notes on, I do think in that regards it's worth it. But if you're looking for like a piece from Louis Vuitton and you've been saving up for a while, I don't recommend this as you know a starter piece. If you do happen to have like the money to spare, you're looking for a planner, you think it's cute, then yeah, it's good for that. But again, for the price, the value, I don't actually think that it's worth the money. But again, I do like it just because it's cute, it looks good on the desk, it is functional. Um, it does have a good amount of size to work with to be writing things out and planning your day. But again, just in terms of the quality, it is a little disappointing. But yeah, those are my thoughts on this agenda. Feel free to give me your thoughts down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye.